Pressed flowers are a super fun way to add a little bit of beauty to your DIY projects. Hi, Katie here from Simply Earth, and today I'm going to teach you how to make your own pressed flowers. There's a few different ways you can press your own flowers. One is the classic way of getting two heavy books, putting the flowers between paper towel or another absorbent paper, and then placing the books on top of each other for three to four weeks. Once the flowers feel light and dry, they're ready to be taken out and to be used. Another way you can press your own flowers is in the oven. Turn the oven on to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Place your flowers between two oven-proof pans, like two cookie sheets. Line your cookie sheets with parchment paper to make the flowers easy to remove. Let them dry for about an hour. Then check on your flowers and see if they feel light and flat. The fastest way to press flowers is in the microwave, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. For the microwave method, you'll need cut flowers, paper towels, and an oven, and a heat-proof dish like this casserole dish. So I'm gonna open my microwave, put down some paper towel, arrange my flowers, I'm gonna put my paper towel on top. Then my heat proof dish. I'm gonna turn the microwave on a low power setting. I'm gonna use power level three, but it can vary with each microwave. And I'm gonna turn on the microwave for one minute. After that, I'm gonna check on my flowers. Each flower is gonna take a different amount of time to dry. I'll know the flower is ready when it feels light and dry. Carefully remove your microwavable dish. It might have gotten hot. So be careful of that. And then check your flowers. These flowers aren't done yet. They feel wet and they aren't totally flat yet. So I'm going to put them back in the microwave for 30 more seconds. Then I'll check them again and I'll continue to do this until my flowers are ready. Once your flowers are dry and flat, they're ready to be used in your crafts, or you can store them between two sheets of parchment paper or wax paper between two books to keep them nice and flat. You can use these flowers in our DIY wax sachet recipe or in our DIY candle recipe. To learn more about pressing your own flowers and different things you can make them, visit our blog post in the description box. Thanks for watching.